Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you, 03 Jan, 2023. Happy New Year, people. Uh, hope you had a nice restful break. It wasn't too bad, right? You got these sort of Christmas and New Year's sandwiched on weekends, so people just didn't really do much during the week. We had some nice fall at the last day of trading um, so there was a little bit of money to be sucked out of that but otherwise we had a pretty quiet week didn't really do too much um, and here we are starting the new year one of the things that strikes me is that no one can really agree on what the consensus is right I mean the consensus is kind of like inflation is going to come down the Fed's going to pivot uh, Western world's going to go into recession. I guess that's consensus, but what does that actually mean um, for equities? And will the long end of the curve react appropriately to this? Uh, this is where the consensus just seems to be a little bit confused. Um, I saw Jimmy Cramer said never buy crypto ever again, which which would usually mean, which would usually be fairly contrarian. Um, uh, so I just thought that was quite funny. Solana, I think, traded down to some stupid number, eight bucks. Wow. Um, up a cool 40% from the lows uh, on the 30th. Solana, we're worried about Solana just because of the, the developer action there. Um, we still own some Matic, we own some Ethereum don't own Bitcoin. We've talked about that. Uh, I don't mind Bitcoin. Bitcoin's just basically gold. We don't trade that much gold either anyway, so I guess it's not surprising. Let's look at this uh, FX. Since this is the space where we make 90% of our money, let's just focus on this. Dollar Yen, super interesting open. Uh, a little bit helter-skelter, right? This is the hourly bar. Bang. 131.42. Um, if you like apples, you would got to ask yourself, shit, how you like them apples. Uh, and then the reversal, two hours in, clean break trade through 130.50. Um, 100 points, basically in a straight line. And now we're fucking around here, uh, 50.80. Chinese numbers, growth numbers overnight out of Caxon were pretty weak. Um, you know, if, if the U.S. does pivot, dollar yen's going to, you know, let's take a look at the dailies, right? Dollar yen's going to go back to 114. Uh, I'm not sure this pivot is going to happen as quickly as everyone thinks they are, and we're going to take this day by day, week by week. Um, but... If rates do come aggressively lower in the U.S., obviously the dollar yen carry trade is dead. Again, I'm not saying they are going to come lower. Uh, I'm still on the fence on this. I'm still trying to digest a lot of the things that can happen. Are people going to stop believing uh, in the ability for corporations and countries to repay their their interest rate bills? I don't know. I mean, how much debt, you know... How much debt can you carry, right? Like at some point, if you carry, I don't know, a million dollar mortgage, the bank is fine. If you carry a $40 million mortgage uh, and, you know, you make 200 grand, the bank's going to be like, I don't think uh, Bobby can repay. Um, and this is where I think we are. It's not like your mortgage went from a million to two million. Your mortgage went from one million to forty fucking million. Um, you know, the debt pile is just spookily high, and so I'm not really sure what to do with this. I understand that most Western uh, countries can just print their own money which is also left hand side right so if the US prints the shit out of their uh, out of their uh, currency dollar will devalue aggressively um, I don't know there's a lot of a lot of forces pushing and pulling but let me just say this uh, 
dollar yen had a little bit of a dandy open. We did not trade it. Um, this is midnight, which was basically the real open for the day yesterday at midnight. Spreads were still wide. Um, up to 40, down to 50. Now we seem to be regaining some traction back at the figure now as we speak um, into this European Open. We don't really have a horse here. We're just watching for now. German inflation numbers were weak this morning already um, out of the, uh, I think, the Rhine region. This will be interesting if this thing gets back below 106.50, which it looks like it is any minute. Um, there's going to be stops below 105.75. We were dicking around um, all basically December. 105.75, 106.75, a few blips higher, uh, but no blips lower. So this is the big important point, 105.75. We're 75 points away. Looks like we're breaking 50 now. Um, again, we're being patient, just watching this. Uh, Euro sterling's come lower, mainly just because German inflation came in weaker. Cable is a very interesting chart as well. So 105.75 in Euro um, is going to coincide with 120, the figure in Sterling. All we need is one bad Sterling number. And this uh, looks like a break trade. Good round number, bunch of lows there. Um, keep an eye on 120, the figure. Dollar Swiss. The retail market is so long this um, it's a little bit of a worry we still you know we talked about this in the end of December you can still pick off low ones for a day trade right with we're not changing trend by any means um, the SMB has unloaded a shit ton uh, of US assets you know I don't, most of you know our central bank here runs like a hedge fund. They just buy tons of shit, tons of assets and create free cash flow. They buy things like Apple and AT&T and, um, and then they use that as, you know, sort of weapons of currency mass destruction, let's just say, um, to try and manipulate and protect Euro Swiss mainly, um, but also Dollar Swiss. Uh, I won't comment on whether they do a good job of that or not, uh, or whether they can actually control it or not. You know, they've been trying to hold up Euro Swiss uh, since 150. Now it's at 98 cents. Um, so I'll refrain from commenting there. But uh, we like low ones still. Uh, are we going to break 92 cents? I don't really think we're going to break it in a big way yes we probably will break it at some time at some point just to clean out some of these retail guys um, so maybe your low ones are between 91.95 and 91.55 for this first couple weeks of the year euro yen getting close to two and a half sigma let's see 138.06, still 40 points away. A little stretched. This is just the inflation numbers uh, affecting the euro side of this equation. Dollar yen we've talked about. I won't get into these crosses. Uh, obviously, the yen crosses Aussie yen square in the nuts, right? This is like weak news out of China plus the dollar yen move. Um, Nothing really to do here. You're middle of nowhere here, right? We all remember the move down to 87.04. We all remember the move back up to 91. We made a fair bit of money there, so that was nice. But now we're right in the middle. Don't try and just rinse and repeat and buy a low one in Aussie again here just because it worked three weeks ago uh, or two weeks ago. Just be patient, right? You're in the middle of the range. There's no place to hide. Where are you going to put your stop? Basically, keep it in your pants, Bobby, uh, and be patient is my advice. Kiwi, 
kind of doing a little bit left hand side basically this is weakness uh, in China this is fear um, that there's going to be a pandemic pandemic problem in China let's see how this thing um, comes together we haven't traded Kiwi in a while but there's a looks like there's a pretty decent pivot here 62.95 um, again that's a half percent away so just chill out this is the first European open um, of the year take a look at stocks US stocks aren't doing too much um, European equities are down about a half a percent but they traded yesterday and we're up so it's kind of neutralized um, 3900s going to be very interesting in s ps let's see what happens today um, there i wouldn't go crazy buying through 3900 but there will be some stops or some some momentum traders there crude not doing too much um, you know the new Big Bobby Ball's bottom is 70 bucks. That's 10 bucks away. That's, you know, 20, 12% away. Um, not much to do here in crude. Crude probably uh, can go up to 85 bucks early in the year here, I think. But a lot will depend on how the Chinese story comes together. Is there really a pandemic there or is there not? And rates are middling high let's just say i mean obviously last year we saw this thing on the forehand up to 430 uh, people were crying like little baby girls at 340 now we're at 384 again middle of the road here um not much to do so let's sum this up we're watching a couple of big levels let's say this week <clears throat> i don't think they're going to come into play today but they may so let's be ready um 120 the figure in cable, 105.75 in euro. We get a little level here at 50 in euro dollar. Just bounced off it again. Let's pull this into uh, short term hourlies. You can see somebody's at 50 here. Um, and maybe the next European, uh, next German inflation number that's coming out later this morning, if that comes in week, will add some, uh, this will add some downward pressure. But Asia's already short, so be careful. Be careful. Anyway, we're watching for now. We see some big levels on the horizon this week. Um, slow and steady, as always, uh, at Privateer. Good luck today, people. Uh, go out there, try and make some dough. You deserve it. See you tomorrow.